Sharon? Yes. Jay, it really is a pleasure to have you here and uh, that you are prepared to our little short interview and that you came. Um, I have uh, questions especially uh, for your um, two DVDs concerning 2012-2013. Uh, you did them, one of them a couple of years ago in 2006, I think, the other one just was released. Uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, the, the meaning of, of, the, of the year and why you did this, these two DVDs. Uh, well, uh, we were, it's a strange story, we were walking on the beach, on the sidewalk on, by the beach in Seattle, Washington, having a discussion about what our next film would be. And uh, I had been sent a book by a friend of mine from England on, uh, called Beyond 2012, and I was going to go to the beach and read it. It was a nice sunny day, yes. very rare in Seattle. And uh, I was walking with the book, and Sharon and I were talking about what film we were going to do next, what we wanted to do, and a man on a bicycle was riding down the sidewalk, and he slammed on the brakes suddenly, and he looked at me and he said, what's that book? And I didn't know what he was doing, so I looked and I said, well, it's a, it's a book about 2012. And he said, 2012, now there's something I want to know more about. And he got on his bike and he rode away. <laughs> and so we were standing there with our mouths open, uh, going, uh, what was that about, right? Yes. And then, because we were discussing what film project we wanted to do next, we thought it was a divine intervention, and so we decided that... Uh, uh, we would look into making a film about 2012. Mm -hmm. That's how it got started. And the reason that we wanted to do a film about 2012 was that we knew everyone that had done the research. They were all our friends. And uh, we were starting to see a lot of disinformation come out about 2012. And it was very concerning to our friends of John Major Jenkins and Jeff Stray and Jose Arguez and all the people that were behind the original movement had done the research about 2012. And so Sharon decided that she wanted to make sure the record was set straight before a lot of disinformation got out too far. Uh, and uh, that was the real, so we had the divine intervention and then we decided to set the record straight. And I think now that the 2012 movement is uh, in much better shape spiritually and intellectually because we set the bar so high so that they had to, everyone now understands that it's a, a true astronomical event that's mm -hmm. happening, that the Mayans were great astronomers and, and that uh, this is not something that is thought up by some crazy hippies or something. This mm -hmm. is something that is uh, tangible, uh, real, and uh, uh, portends to be possibly the most important event in human history, and that's what I believe. I, I believe that the human race is going through the greatest uh, uh, catastrophic crisis in its history right now. It's just starting right now, and by 2012 it will reach a crescendo, and, uh, and a new world will emerge on the other side. And, uh, as far as I understood, it will affect, or already affects, every single person. Uh, can, do you have any examples how this might happen, that people suddenly imagine or, or can feel, wow, there's something that is connected to the state? I, I, my own personal feeling is that uh, that is what the event is. The event is a, a sudden uh, interconnecting of all living creatures and the realization of that. Mm -hmm. And that everything that you do has ramifications downstream and we have to be very careful about what we do now. And we're starting to realize, especially uh, uh, the people in the United States are realizing that you, you can't just go and invade countries without paying a price. And, and we're beginning to realize that there's a serious consequences for our actions. And I think that this is going to reach a point where we're going to stop acting like children. I think that's what's going on here. We're, 
we're maturing as a race. The whole human race is becoming adults. Mm -hmm. And children run around the house and break up the furniture and, and they don't care about tomorrow. Adults care about tomorrow. And we are acting, the human race for the last 5,000 years has been acting like we don't care about tomorrow. We're busting up the furniture, we're wrecking the place, and now uh, it's time for us to grow. And I think that's what's going on. It's childhood's end. It's the end of our childhood right now. And we're going through it right now for the next four years, and we're going to come out the other side, and we're going to be adults, finally.